Yeah, I don't really have nothing set up because I just moved. But um, about the Cordova motor, I've been running his motors. I think since probably about 2010 or 11, because me, Tito, and Tim Smith was the first person to ever do speed runs. They were just using his motors for drag racing, and he got a couple, he got some records with his motors, but we was the first one running them. So I've been dealing with Jose for a long time. I always had him in my cars, but never, never really showed my setup. But. When I did my 113 run last year, or this year, whatever it was, no, last year in the fifth scale, that's what I had in the car. It was a test motor. Now I got this one. This is 2215 he make. It's big. So I'm going to be running that one next. This is the one that goes back in my circuit. I had him do some changes to it because it's something I want to do to it. And I got one on this one. I had my GoPro on my head so you couldn't really see, but this one was carrying the wheels headed up in the air like that. But it's fixed now. So I will be running them this year with the motors on there. And my 10th scale, all my cars. But just people out there saying the motors are junk. Everybody entitled to their opinion. If you think they don't run, that's fine. You know, just don't buy it. I don't blame you. Because if it's something out there I don't like, I'm not going to run it. You know, I'm not going to even mess with it, so it ain't no hard feelings to nobody buy it, you know, and if people, it's people on the page that's having second thoughts about it, I don't blame you, man. Do your research. If you don't feel that motor's for you or, you know, you don't think it's going to work out for you and what you got work better, then don't buy it. You know, that's that's perfectly okay. It's, you know, ain't no big deal, but I know it run, so I went and had to go through my archives and find some videos of it running. Now, I did this run, one of the runs back in 2011, and then one is 2012. It was me, Byron from Poseidon, the owner, and Kavi, if y'all know who he is. He do all the quad cops. I can't remember the name of his page right now, but it's the video is actually on his page. It got about 12,000 views or something like that, So, but I had a copy of it too, <clears throat> and then I had the day before we went out when I set my car up so I'll show all that and I'll show all the other runs so it's another run we went to uh, Byron's airport when I first hooked up with them that was in 2011 I think it was I did 128 and I was sponsored by radio post and I lost signal the car veered off to the dirt so I didn't have no more control of the car and I didn't run no more over there but I post the videos the videos do exist so you can see so I ain't ever had no problems with the motors. I've been running them for years. You know, you just got to do your homework. I don't have no problem with them. Putting gears on a car and all that is more than doing speed runs than that. You got to know your KV, your final gear ratio, and then a little tip for everybody, for the ones who don't know. No motor is the same. I don't care what it is. You can have five twenty-two hundred sit up here right now. None of them. And you can call anybody and they'll tell you. Learn how to check your KV. Figure it out. Go ahead and do your research. I check all my motors. I still got my first motor. I did 140 with a castle motor. Still got it. I done had numerous of 2200 motors. If it ain't the same KV as the one I got, in the gear ratio chart I got, I don't run it. I won't even buy the motor or I just sell it. So if for those who didn't know, no motor is the same because they all hand wound. Every last one of them. It's not done by a machine. Or none of that. So your motor might, they might wind it to be a 2200 or a 2650 or whatever, but you got to go check and find out what KV it is. So a lot of people don't know that, but you guys can run with that little secret out there and use it to your advantage for your speed runs because it will help out. <clears throat> and if you know, figure out your gear ratio and your final gear ratio. Just because you find a gear ratio out on the car, that don't mean that's going to be the final gear ratio with the tires and everything else. You got to do your homework. That's what it come down to. So, I don't really do speed runs like I used to because now I live out here and I got to travel to do them. But this year, watch. I'll do some big ones. No problem. Just like before because I've been doing it for a long time. And then once you get it down packed and you figure it out, that's it. 
So, you know, if, but as far as the motor goes, I like the motors. Anything on my page from Poseidon to gears to hubs, I test it. I go out and test it all the time. I just don't put a lot of videos up of the same runs and stuff like that. You know, I got tons of videos of doing speed runs, but I just don't put them up and drag racing and everything else. So, but I'm going to post these just to show you guys an eight scale car run. And then Tito got the record for the 10 scale. He still got the record, 153 miles per hour. That's the Dover motor. So, you know, the motors are out there. If you guys don't like them, whatever you choose to use, you go ahead. But it ain't no hard feeling. Nobody be mad or anything like that. You know, it's just, if you don't like them, you don't like them. But you guys check out the videos, and I'll leave a link on the bottom so you can go watch the other videos. Thanks for watching. Let me see what's under here first. Shit. Is that a castle motor? No, it's not. Oh. Is that a castle ESC? No, it's not. Serpent. All right. Who see that good? Who see that good? Damn, one twenty five. Clock shows 153. Woo! 153. I believe it's that vapor bubble or something. 